And it looks very bad here now for NIP surely, but Forrest steals away another frag. Bondic's been waiting for the rotation all this time. I don't think Forrest saw his opponent through the flames there, as can often happen. Coming in for... Oh, Forrest, that's disgusting! Both at the same time, and he's got a kit. That is grotesque. I didn't even know what to say. Man. If you guys want to open up free cases, make sure to use the codes in the description on pandaskins.com. Every video will have two new limited codes, so make sure to use them ASAP before everyone else. Also, make sure to use code SCENERY at referral when you deposit for a free bonus as well. You can open insane cases for nice profit like I did here with this legend of Anubis AK and withdrawing your prizes is quick and easy. I withdrew to Steam and PayPal and you can too. So go grab your free cases and bonus right now. Good luck have fun my friends. Hope you enjoy. My stakes is charging into the site. Pronex will get him get right. We'll get down JW. There's 16 seconds left and Alu comes up from behind. The bomb is down but Alu's got him trapped in the corner. He'll drop. The finished player is gone and now it's a 2v2 retake for NIP to hold on to this to not lose the grand finals. Pronex and Crims. They just need to two kills here, and they will win it for the second time. Pronex with one Freiburg. Oh, Freiburg! He's freezed and he gets both kills! And the grand final continues! 15 to 13! Oh my god, I'm at a loss for words right now. These NIP retakes, they're giving me a heart attack. This is some of the most crazy counter-strike I've ever seen out of NIP. So far. 30 seconds left as NIP make their way onto Catwalk. Sivnix with one, with two. What a great performance here. He does go down. Cajun, three bullets left, and he's finally going to try and reload here, but it's a 2v3. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, right. Last man standing. Device, that draw speed. He's going he's to go down. If that had been the old C set, it would have been no issue at all. Get right, trying to AWP. And 1v2, running up here with P250 out, jumping and shooting, he gets one more kill, looking for it, he's got him hunted down, time is up, oh my god, Garrett, are you gonna be kidding me, he gets the last kill in, one second left! Well, that that works out, nice flash, man, and Olaf, he's still full flashed, he gets the angle right, had Pimp actually shoulder checked that, he would have taken a bullet. Back in towards B now, that boost could be come back to bite them they are censoring it though and they're going to be nading off and jw of course lands the first shot they're going to be fully aware what make the it a hell? double i'm oh! <laughs> <laughs> behind them though this is about to get tricky and they managed to get onto the site fanatic eight seconds and that bomb will get planted what a close call right now and lg i mean they're on the spot to go for a retake here Fur moving up, trying to play the edge of the smoke, but he can't really spot out anybody. JW coming in with one more kill. There's Cold Zero coming in. Fur as well. Now it's back into a two on two. Fur gonna go for the peak. He gets a shot on Dennis, and all of his miles away from this action. They don't have a smoke, so this orb is still. Oh! oh! One kill. He's gonna go for more. That's the bomb down. And Forrest eventually there to shut it. But there's just been too many losses. Great hold from Astralis. It's just a great job, isn't it? 30 seconds again for a one versus four. He's already got the one kill. Tapping away and taking down 25 seconds. He is looking for the straight ace clutch to try and get back in this game. That would be a bit of a miracle once again. He's picked up the bomb and he wants to go upstairs, make it a bit of noise. He's trying to see if he can juke them out and just be as noisy as possible. Maybe they're going to be looking the wrong way, but they're hiding in the corner. Oh, he's oh, no. going down. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Mage is coming in. He's just out of the bomb. Forest. He needs one more kill. We'll be in historic clutch if he could do it. The grenade landing on top. He's down to 50. Oh! 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 He's got right and falls back down as is traditional in this spot. Smoke out. Entrance smoke creating a longer angle. A little bit about that last night. We're seeing this bounce one a lot more commonly in Freiburg. He's used it to his advantage because not only have they isolated the long players, he's got control of the peak coming in from that position, having already won that duel. However, he's still down to this. He's got three kills. He needs an ace to pull this off. As Flamey has an AWP, Seized has an M4, and both of them together have the bomb. Two on one, Freiburg, bomb and shorts, and at this point, he's already done significant damage to the economy of the CTs. If he finds one more kill, and if he's still in a great position going forward in terms of the economy game, but here he goes, and that's Molotov's actually really nice. CTs can't face the bomb at all now, and if he can just ascertain if there's anyone close to this stage, he can grab the bomb and fall back. I think it's just enough. Oh, it's actually might be oh, a little bit too deep. It's Guardian as well. Oh, nice! 
bunny hop, okay. I have to say, from Freiburg. He knows the AWP's at least down towards short. He gets the shot on C's. He'll give away. They're both there. He knows it now, but it's low HP. Eight seconds. He's got to go for the plant. He commits to it rather than facing off against Flamey. And the Molotov will go back one. out to hold him off. Now it's the low HP, and Freiburg has done it. Ace clutch for the man who fights for an IP to make them four to two. But Buster's stuck here, second oranges. Yeah, I mean, he is doomed. Get right's walking in, honed on him. So that's the entirety of the site cleared, other than Krizen's closest position. Will break vent and drop down, and he drops the bomb of all the pieces to take back into their control. That one is crucial because somebody of the two nips on the bomb site has to come back. 15 seconds left, and they're going to cross on the open ramp. That presents Jame a target, but now he has no head. Dennis down and get right alone. Eight seconds, oh! a tap into the brain of Kickert, and Fitch will creep forward. Get right knows he's got to be close, but doesn't know exactly where he's at. Fitch playing the highway, and he's going to get himself vision, but get right's got the kills. An ace for Christopher. That's well deserved. He has worked hard in these two maps to make sure. Backside of Banana Crush wants to work in that direction, and oh my goodness. 30 degree window jacket? How did that miss? That look. shaved his pubic hair. It was so close to his crotch, but yet didn't get a kill. JW is going to get them all, though, as he walks through. And inside of the smoke, Fnatic find 11. Yeah, I was How wondering, exactly do they want to cross? I was wondering if, they were, if he was going to try and push when they smoke. So, like, as in just when it lands, he just uses that. They do flash, double flash. Huey going to go and hard check it, and he had the most health, and he's gone. Now they have an AWP and an AK. You said it. They could actually still do this. All of waiting in the same position, hoping maybe to catch them off guard. He's actually back in the exact same position. They might not read that. They know Olaf pretty well, and I'm, I'm assuming that they would think he's probably repositioned himself, but no, there we go. Now it's all on Naf. AWP in hand, 28 seconds. Oh, and, oh, oh my Lord. Lord! It can't be true! Meanwhile, Kraken and Forest, they've got to try and get some work done. No Molotov to use as a smoke on the site anyway. Forrest has picked up one. Can he go any better than that? He knows it's been oh! oh my god, Forrest! Magnifique in Marseille! That was ridiculous! What in God's name just happened there? I have no idea. That's the sickest player of the tournament so far. There is a trick that we saw Sipnix from Team Dignitas do on this map, and it's at the bottom of Inferno. You can boost up in a very cheeky spot down by the arches down there, and I haven't seen that for such a long time that I bet one of these two teams will have forgot it, and the other one is going to try and do it. Um, so I'm, I predict that that's going to happen, and we'll have to find out. We say we're going to be seven rounds in. It's a 5-1 lead here for a Fnatic, and they start off really well here on the final map. Yeah, now they're actually starting to push down a little bit. Uh, the original nade there, thrown by Nip to try and hold them back. Olaf nice, but we'll find the shot on Exist. Freiburg does return, picks off Phonax. He's still here, though, and he's going for more. Two big frags. The third man is here, however, and Freiburg has to back off. But Freiburg somehow opens it up single-handedly. All three frags, but the bomb is on the other side. Yeah, but that could be all right. Fnatic are making a huge rotation. Freiburg, all he has to do is stay alive, and it's going to be great. Oh, he picks up a quad kill. He could do even better than staying alive. He gets the kill. Now, is it going to be an ace with five HP? That's what's on the plate right now for Freiburg. JW, on the other hand, has quite a different menu to chew through here. He's got a one on three with an AWP. He's guessed the right bomb site, but the bomb goes down. So now, he not only has to kill three members of NIP, he also has to defuse the bomb. And I'm wondering if it isn't smarter at this point, trying to find a way out, but from the depths. Dun, 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 like a dun, dun, hungry dun, dun. shark, just inching his way forward here. He wants that ace, and that would be absolutely brutal. Fnatic, that could really rock them. Freiburg comes in, he sprays, Freiburg misses, and it's the ace! He picks it up! The utility to smoke this off, one smoke. Oh, wow, they oh, go for it. I was going to say, it. they might rather save that for the door, but they'll just go fast into the site. Brolin is waiting, and Golden's gone. Ooh. Get right with the kills to make things happen, and Dig are in B. This could be their round on Eco, because we know it. We've said it. Dust 2, very hard to retake that B site. Damn near impossible in some instances. Man, this series is great. Like, this series is stellar. This is a, uh, a force buy from Dig, where they only really have pistols and a rifle on Get Right to try and get the job done, and they might manage it. Fnatic looking to come in for this retake. The mollies they hope can burn players out, and it does burn Halzerk down to the grave, three on three. As this retake tries to kick up a notch, and out from the window, it's Flusher oh. dealing with one. Get Right still alive! No. And how's he managed that? Four kills in the round for Get Right.
is apps big and she'll be a duel for two players switch losing a duel and jw taking only one it's not enough for here is just apps take on another oh jw taking down title okay <laughs> jw taking down sweet and even four and can be five for jw <laughs> as he does at times. And yet now he's found a good bit of success here in an important gun round, but Olaf on for the clutch. We're talking years of experience versus Xanteres, who's got his double flashbang and sits posted back by Firebox. Olaf has no clue where he could have gotten off to, but he oh. does tap out that bomb, no kit. So Olaf needs the kill fast enough to jump back upon the bomb. Xanteres peeks and dies, and Olaf should have this an excellent fifth round and a beautiful 1v3 i'm just glad to be a part of it man we just saw olaf with the cleanest 1v3 so far trying to stop cloud nine raining down on top of get right and he picks up the kill even a follow-up headshot the spam going through and he doesn't get the kill it's very very close for it res and forest now two on four to try and hold on to this one and they are just getting pushed out the smokes the grenades oh but forest holding the bomb can they get it he needs one more kill he's gonna get it oh my god even takes that rush behind him and forest he's gonna be able to do it a ridiculous quad kill to save the round and i he gets him out so now it's very doable here is the Ooh. frags is coming through freiberg finds one onto death but he's just onto apps they should close this down very momentarily the bomb deep is coming out all away but freiberg actually manages to get one he's done this before it's the one-on-one -on -one situation no he finds a third frag. he that can't win this thinking, this would be absolutely disgusting here android needs to shut this down freiberg just, he needs to play time. This is his round to lose now. He's taken it from a 4 one situation. He does it again. That is so disgusting for Freiburg. But there you have it. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. They're going to have to go for the planet flush. I can't guess the angle right this time. It's a 3-on-3. Three three. Fnatic last time. The retake didn't work this time. They're feeling more solid. Get right coming up from behind. But he's also alone in a 1-on-2. On Throws out another grenade here. Gets up another kill. Is it happening again? Pronax is alone. That bomb is in the middle of nowhere. He's going to have to sit down. The oh, he goes down. Get right. Clutches it, it happens again! Oh my god, get right! He does it! And actually, fully committed seems towards the B side with JW in position. He'll let them jump past first. No one's gonna check this now, Sembla. Oh, this is brilliant. And the rotation's already come through here from Fnatic as well. This is JW now. He can completely ruin Evil Geniuses. Looking for the shots, wants to get them guaranteed. Doesn't deny the plants, but he's still eviscerating. This is still just him alone now. Waited just a little bit too long, perhaps. Two players remain here for Evil Geniuses. One no tap way. though from J-Dub, could get the quarter as well. Looking for it, quick spot there from Ethan. No, not Ethan, Breezy. And now Breezy backing off. The kit has been recovered though from J-W, so this is big. Just needs to tap, waiting to see. And if there is going to be the fake, and he's just gonna stick it, J-W oh! with the clutch. That's so massive, it's unbelievable. Another player who has such a storied past. No nace to play with though, it's going to be very difficult. Finds his way past the one of the more dangerous angles, goes back though. And this, he's got to be so perfect here. As soon as he sees one play, he's going to win the first 1v1. That might have been it. There's a beautiful headshot to follow. Knows where the next one's coming from. Snapping heads for days! Olaf Meiss has oh done it! My what an God. incredible 4k from him overall. The 1v3 clutch at the end after the bomb plant. As, as well, like in Europe of Opping, I feel like the Brazilian operas just bring out like a different flavor. That is like makes European operas really uncomfortable. Oh. Nice drop from Forrest. Vinny was turned for a flash. Complete outplay. And Forrest going to start taking matters into his own hand. You can see, you can tell from the way he moves that he's trying to be a little bit more assertive on the map. Well, somebody's going to have to do something here for, uh, for NIP to get back in this round. 40 seconds is, you know, kind of starting to run the clock down a bit low. And he's revealing that AWP. We're down to 35 seconds. Forrest making a jump out behind the smoke as Rez goes down. And Forrest wants to continue. He's now on top of the train. He's going to pick up a kill there on Henny. Finding a second one and taking down Quesarado. So far, a triple opening. And oh Forrest turning around. It's a quad kill. The takedown art. What a brutal entry into the bomb site. He just won versus four them on this site. And now, Yuri in the back. And Forrest with the ace to bring down Furia. What evening. And like you said, the tight angle. Make it two now. Double headshots. As Freiburg does eventually silence him. He'll go in as well and another double for him. He's looked sharp as of late as well. Perhaps invigorated by all the uh, community backlash of a poor performance until they push through that smoke and Alu with the bomb down didn't really need to do so. Oscar gets that kill and he follows it up. Actually take that back at Sticko. Either way it brings it to a three versus one until Freiburg finds his third and fourth. Beautiful shot with what? the beat with Tech 9 and that's got to be it. An ace from Freiburg all with the Tech oh my 9. God.
Straight in we go, Harry. <clears throat> and A execute seems for North. Now they're going to go fast into this site. Smoke in main to cut get right off. But he's actually up in the site instead. He gets two, three, oh, get oh, right. Oh, oh dear. Get right. What is he doing? Bomb dropped, one player alive, and he found the ace. What a way to start the map. Look at that. Look at his reaction. Get right. That's some vintage stuff, man. Look, he's so happy. That would be just out of this world. And they just go running past, and JW does have no idea. He gets the kill on the man, and... Pop dog and attempts the shot, nearly takes Kenny out through the smoke. Crim still in the middle of all of it over at Ivy as well. Pronax is holding and they're both, well, all of Meister and Crim is going to go down. They took the raid boss, surely it's just going to be smooth sailing from here on out. JW landed a shot on Kenny, but he's got 12 health. And Titan, they don't have the bomb quite. In fact, JW is not quite holding it, but he's close by anyway. I'm not quite sure if they're going to try and push him or not. Down to 12 HP, JW as well. He's got all three kills for Fnatic. In order to win this, he would need the ace. And he's going to be peeking out. They're safe for now, though. And there you go. Perfect timing there by Apex. And now JW decides to go pushing through. Apex has no idea. Oh, my God! They line up! Pronex finds Zipnix, not the best of starts. Flusher gets Dupree. Bomb is going down. Device still kicking as Fetish waits. Waits and waits and waits and finds himself a little bit of smoke to hide in, but it's a 2v4 and it's going to be desperately hard to hold on to. Device around the world we go, but the defuse, the defuse is coming in. Has, he's still going. Oh, Olaf just about gets it as the flames come in. And look at the little dance of happiness. That is how to control your nerves in a situation. Dance.